Oh my oh god, my it's Thomas the Franchise. Yup. If one more label try to stop me, it's gonna be some dreadhead niggas in your lobby. Hey, how'd you meet Terry ACL? Did you see somebody at the airport? <laughs> <laughs> I asked him to do this one time at an airport. Do sort though. of like a Barry Sanders breaker ankle. <laughs> kind of it's deep. more like a 280 pound Eddie Lacy. <laughs> Eddie Lacy never really had Eddie, any juice. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Let you know, my knee is popping on every step I'm taking. Then why would you want to do a little juke? Oh, oh okay. set him up. <laughs> that's a warm-up. That's a warm-up. <laughs> There's more to come. Nice oh, one. Oh, here we go. You can't, come on, you can't just use this one. The guy wasn't even in front of him. <laughs> weird, it felt a little stiff. It felt a little weird. It, it felt a little stiff. No. Oh, well, it's a warm-up, you know? It's, it's a practice job. You know, though, the guy was walking towards you, and typically when you juke somebody, you get straight on them. You juked him from here. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, I you know what I mean? <laughs> Look at that. That's her. No, those pants are way too long. She's uh, no, oh, dude, waitress. She was, waitress. Yeah, she she needs a bottle. <laughs> oh, got him. Oh, actually, she looked back at it. Looked back at it. Saw she that. put a fat rabbit on a Craftmatic. Mm -hmm. You guys know that one? Two chains? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bud. Look at that. Third eye blind. Where? Got him. Right there. Third eye blind. A little doop, 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 doop. <laughs> Yo! What up, guys? What up? What are we doing here? Oh, oh man! Fire up! Huh? Oh. <laughs> They're so dope, huh? Thanks, guys. Yeah. I appreciate it. Hell yeah! I knew. I told you. I was like, I gotta get some kicks, dude. I got some whack ass fucking kicks. Yo, Percocet, Molly Percocet, Percocet, Molly Percocet. Yo, Percocet, Molly Percocet. Yo, what in the hell is going down, y'all? Welcome back to the most underrated sneaker channel on YouTube. Your words, not mine. Man, I've missed you guys. Vegas was crazy. I'm on my way right now to go record the Misinformed Podcast. I'm sorry my voice is all messed up. I'm kind of barely getting my voice back from Vegas. I just got back yesterday, landed, went straight to a wedding from Vegas, didn't even unload my suitcase or bags or anything, so I just did that, dropped those off. We're going to record the Misinformed Podcast right now. For everybody that was looking forward to Vegas vlogs, I really do sincerely apologize. I know the last time I went to Vegas was in January, and that was like a week after I had started vlogging on the YouTube channel. So a lot of you guys don't even know uh, about those Vegas vlogs unless you've gone back through the archives and taken a look at those from three, four months back, whatever it was. But that was the trip, man. It was awesome. It was probably one of the funnest times I've had in Vegas just because of the fact that I was kind of just living life and being able to hang out with my friends and not having to worry about getting the next shot and worry about uh, getting the next thing for you guys or worried about the camera. I was able to just wild out and not have to worry about forgetting anything or losing stuff. I did forget my MacBook charger at the beginning because I did intend to vlog, you know, and I was going to vlog as much as I could. I knew it was not going to be as much as last time, but I forgot my MacBook charger. And from that point on, I kind of was just like, screw it, man. I'm just going to enjoy the trip, enjoy myself, enjoy my friends, be around good company, make some memories, and that's exactly what we got to do. There'll be plenty of more times I'm sure I go to Vegas or I go on trips and I'll vlog the whole time for you guys. But as I posted on Twitter, it was awesome just to be able to disconnect from Twitter, disconnect from everything. I didn't post anything except Snapchat. And it was cool because I was just Snapchatting where I was at here and there, different locations, and I was kind of just, you know, messing around on there. It was really cool to disconnect. So I appreciate you guys not getting on my ass about that. Uh, just letting me 
live life, man, just like you guys do. Not to mention, I think it all worked out for the better that way anyway because of the fact that it was a bachelor party, you know? People forget that some people don't like to be on camera, you know what I mean? Some people don't want to be on camera, especially they don't want to be a ca on camera in Vegas, especially they don't want to be on camera in Vegas faded at a bachelor party, you know what I mean? So just out of respect to some of my friends that don't want to be on camera, it was going to be tough to vlog the whole trip this time anyway. Last time, it wasn't a bachelor party. I was just there with some friends and they were all couples, but I did spend a lot of time I'm in the hotel room last time editing and stuff, so this was cool not to have to worry about any of that. But I had a bunch of people asking me, you know, what did I cop? Did I go into sneaker stores? I did not cop anything. I didn't cop one thing online while I was there. I didn't go to a sneaker store. Uh, okay, actually, I lied. I went to a sneaker store because I hooked the homie Adelio up. I got him boosted out there. We found a pair of Ultra Boosts. They had one pair left size, nine and a half, his size. And it was the, damn, I don't even know what the colorway is. It's that 3.0 Ultra Boost. It's like almost like a seaweed green type heel cup. That was the only time I went to a sneaker shop. We got super lucky. I was able to get him boosted. He was super grateful. I got my homie at bat boosted with the triple blacks that I showed you that was taken to him. And that was it for sneakers, man. I didn't do really anything sneaker wise. As you saw, I did get my Jordan 1 wing. I have those on feet right now and for all you dudes thinking that they don't rub off man I see you getting slick in the comments. Do not test your boy. I told you when I get my pair I'll show you so that's what we're gonna do on this vlog I'm gonna show you guys that the paint on the Jordan 1 wings in fact does rub off and it's gold underneath I'm excited to do that for y'all. I'm excited to be back Thank you guys for letting me take a little week hiatus and do my thing and enjoy my life And if you don't like those little breaks sometimes man, I understand I totally understand but just follow me on snapchat cuz I'm always on there ranting talking shit and that's still pretty entertaining in small doses give him a ooh yes the macho man what those glasses bro it's the I Macho Man Randy Savage. Savage. I'm so sorry. I know that's not your job. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I don't know where P got these glasses, but these are Macho Man Randy Savage joints. These are, these are straight fire. I'm super jealous right now. <laughs> what are you doing floating with that shit? We got pizza in the pool? We got a passport in the pool? <laughs> we got cards in the pool? <laughs> When the sun goes down, we'll be grooving. Oh yeah, it's messed up. Somehow that singing kind of came out alright though. Maybe it's just because I was in the elevator and it wasn't echoing or anything, but or it was echoing. Jeez, it's gonna be a great podcast. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I always find money in the lazy river. Did really? You find it dope? Always. What? I swear <laughs> to God. For real? Yeah. That would yeah. make sense though, because Pete every single time he was pulling. Wet money, wet hundreds out of his swim trunks, and yeah, the waitress yeah. she was full oh, of pissed. She was just so annoyed. <laughs> she could was see she was just like damp dollars. Yeah. And he's just like, it all spends the same. You go check out the uh, the Thunder Down Under. <laughs> no, no, no. You told me you went to see that. And you highly recommend. No, 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 no. How no. was that? I worked. How was it, I worked Danny? at the Thunder Down Under. I was. I was oh, an did? oil guy. <laughs> yeah, I, did, I, did, I, did oil, I did oil work. Damn. Right before. But not with my hands. Right we used we used like. 
you know, those little uh, brushes that you put like barbecue on chicken yeah, with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We use those. Yeah, yeah. We were at the pool all day, every day, dude. We spent, we lived at the pool. Mad was it hot spot? It wasn't that bad. I no. didn't feel like it was that hot. You walked outside, it was like, oh, this is hot. But then when you got in the pool, you got a couple BL smoothies, aka B lights. Ah, BL oh, smoothies. BL you got a bucket smoothies. of BL smoothies, 36 for a bottle of fresh <laughs> by a five, you know? BL smoothies. Yeah, that's another round of BL smoothies. <laughs> Give me a couple steam washers in the hell yeah, we'll call it a night. All right, guys, we're back home from the podcast, and as you saw, I was rocking these right here, these Jordan wings. I talked about in the review that I did with Dallas's pair. This uh, paint does, this kind of black rubs off and reveals a gold paint on the shoe. A lot of people didn't believe me. A lot of people were skeptical. Some people even went as far as to say I'm full of shit, which is cool because we're going to put all that to bed right now. So this shoe here, what is this, the left shoe? Uh, is standard factory out the box uh, didn't do anything to it the right shoe I took a little bit of um, acetone or nail polish remover this stuff right here when you're doing this I just put a little bit of that on a rag and you'll be able to see that it does in fact turn gold underneath so I just did the little corner of the heel cup so it's all bronzed out there and then as you come around to the side you can see that it is rubbed off gold. I'll go ahead and do it live for you guys, just in case anybody doesn't believe me. Or I know some people were skeptical on trying it on their own pair. They didn't want to ruin their pairs or whatever. I completely understand, so I got you, man. So we'll just take a little bit of this. I kind of just fold up the corner of the rag like that. Boom, that's that side there. We'll just go ahead and uh, we'll just start on the outside. And basically, you just rub with the acetone of the nail polish remover. And as you can see, that washes right off and is gold underneath. All gold, everything. Gold all in my ring, gold all in my chain, gold all in my watch. Don't believe me, just watch. Look at that, man. So for all the skeptics out there who thought your boy was just talking ish, who thought your boy wasn't gonna come through, whoo hoo hoo, these are gonna look so dope after they're done, man. You can uh, just do like that, do the whole entire shoe, and then uh, you'll have that gold instead of that tarnished gold look. You'll have that that gold look underneath. Now these are supposed to wear off over time. This is obviously expediting the process. I don't know how long it would take to, you know, maybe it would probably take a lot of wears to really wear these down um, and get the gold to shine through. But I think that's the whole point. That's the purpose there. It's supposed to be something that over a certain amount of years, you know what I mean, you'll kind of see the gold start shining through on the sneaker. So that's a really dope touch to the shoe. People are still sleeping on this shoe like crazy. Um, resale has tanked. I'm honestly not sure if these are gonna jump back up in value later on. I'd assume they will, because they are limited. Oh, by the way, I did get pair 141, man. Not even in the thousands. Your boy got hooked up with pair 141. I think Dallas's was like 7,000 some odd. But uh, yeah, I got the 141st pair produced, so pretty dope. But I'm gonna go ahead and rub all of this off of the shoe, and then I'll do an on feet for you guys, and we'll do one all gold, one regular, just so you can kind of see how they look, and then I'll probably do the other one later. But just so you can get a comparison. I honestly don't know what I'm gonna like better once this rubs off, and I get, I'm stuck with it. So the good thing for me is resales in the toilet. If I absolutely hate the shoe, I'll just go buy another pair and keep them that way, and uh, I'll have the all gold joints as well, so. Never sweet out. My shooters come for free, so if one more label try to stop me, it's gonna be some dreadhead niggas in your lobby. Huh, huh, you don't want no problem, want no problem with me. You do, you don't want no problem, want no problem with me. <laughs> yup, yup. Pull up in a new thing with my blue.
So there they are guys, the Jordan 1 wings exposed with the gold. This kind of looks tan on camera, but it's definitely like a gold coin uh, type of matte gold. So in person, I mean, it looks a little bit different, but I can't really decide which one I like better, man. I really like them both. That's another thing I wanted to point out. So up top, this actually does rub off as well. I thought it was like a leather patch. Like on here, it almost looks like it's a leather patch, but the whole thing rubs off. I still have a little bit more work to do. I didn't really, you know, I still got a little bit up here. And I mean, I didn't go too crazy. I didn't remove the laces. I kind of just did the top of the tongue, but I'll kind of get in depth with it and, and, and do the other shoe as well. Like I said, I'm not really positive on which one I like better. Let me know in the comments below which one you guys like better. A lot of you guys, most of you guys probably still just hate the shoe, which is cool. I mean, feel free to let me know that too. Maybe this makes it look better to you. Maybe you still hate it. But either way, it's not going to change my opinion. I still love the shoe regardless. As always, man, thank you guys for watching the video. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you to everybody that's clicking through my Amazon links. Oh, the next video coming will be another video with acetone. We're going to remove the three stripes from the NMD PK glitch, uh, the white and gray joints that came out. A bunch of people have been asking me, have I removed the stripes yet? Can I please do the video to remove the stripes? I've had a lot of requests on that. So thank you guys for interacting with me. Uh, I will definitely do that in the next video dropping. A few people have already done it. They've sent me pictures. They look super dope. I can't wait to do it to my pair and show you guys how it's done. So I know that shoe is super GR, but it's still really, really dope. And especially with the stripes off and the lace swap that I got going, fuego. Be on the lookout for that one. We'll do it next. Thanks again for clicking that like button and always supporting your boy. And I will see you fools tomorrow.